All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Rodney LaFond Performing Arts Center. I am Chris Williams, the director of bands here at Destrehan High School. Thank you so much for joining us this evening to support our students. We are excited to kick off the Christmas season, and we hope that you're here uh, and leaving here with some Christmas cheer. Uh, I would like to begin tonight by rec recognizing and introducing any school board members that may be in attendance tonight. So if you are here, if you could please stand, and I'll check and see if I can see you out. Who is that we got over there? Is this Miss Becky Weber? Yes. Like, see, I get my eyes are good, still good. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, and of course, our Destrehan High School administration, Miss Laura Abbey, and Mr. Jason Mader. Uh, and any other DHS faculty out there? I know I saw Ms. Malera. Yes. Okay, Ms. Jackie Ragusa. Yeah, thank you all so much for coming out and supporting these students. So um, please uh, enjoy tonight's concert. Y'all ready to start the most wonderful time of the year? All right, well, please help me welcome the 2023 Destrehan High School Band. So that was the most wonderful time of the year, arranged by John Moss. We're going to have another arrangement by John Moss. Uh, by It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, although it doesn't feel like it yet. We will see it this afternoon and later on. So please enjoy. Most, uh, the beginning, it, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas.
So while I have the time and need it because my guys in the back got a lot of set, uh, stuff to change, I want to take some time to recognize some of our members who were a member of Honor Band this year. So uh, as I call your name, if you could please stand and rise. I'm going to first recognize everyone who has made the uh, District 7 Senior High Honor Band, and they also everyone that I'm about to call also qualified for the second round of auditions. So if you could please stand as I call your name. This is Riley Marcel on flute. Mason Tankersley, oboe. Montrell Raby on alto sax. Caden Ragusa, alto sax. Bo Harris on French horn. Nathan Nesbitt, trombone. Wesley Domain, euphonium. Jonathan Dempsey on tuba. And Xander Christianberry in percussion. So additionally, the next four students also made the Senior High District Honor Band, but they also advanced to Allstate, and they performed about three weeks ago in Baton Rouge. And those members are Jaslyn Taylor, trumpet. Jacob Rizalzing on clarinet. Sadie Smith on clarinet. And Hayden Smith, though he's not carrying one, a bass clarinet. Hay Hayden Stute, I said Smith, right? Okay. Uh, so we also, last year I couldn't recognize my junior, high on, our, my junior high folks because it was before their auditions, but we also had three students make it this year. Um, Elijah Ulmer on flute. <laughs> Miss Madeline Seren on clarinet. And James Domingue on percussion. So congrats to y'all. Thank y'all so much for representing the school and the program. All right, our next work is without a doubt my most favorite. Uh, it's, it's one that I know the students have kind of bought into, they like it a lot, but uh, just to give you some context, if you don't know, Through the Looking Glass is a metaphor for any time the world suddenly appears unfamiliar, which we get that through uh, Alice in Wonderland, through Lu Lewis Carroll, but now we're going to experience that through Christmas. We're going to see Christmas through the looking glass in, in this work by David Laverne. Uh, in his notes, the piece, the composer writes, let's play a game of Christmas hide and seek, diminished minor alterations. Twist your favorite Christmas melodies into something new and inventive by transposing the tunes from major keys or something that's happy and joyful sounding into minor keys, which could be sad or angry. He changes the styles and overlaps melodies into one another, and each carol takes on a completely new character. Alternately dramatic and funny, wistful and energetic, this medley is full of musical surprises from start to finish. So my challenge to you is, how many carols will you recognize throughout the entire piece? So please enjoy Diminished Minor Alterations. Thank you. 
All right, so right now we're going to take a little bit of break away from the ensemble things. We're going to feature some smaller things going on that we have uh, going around, and this Mahler is here to talk about that. First, we're going to get this all set up. Um, if y'all are playing, come on up. Hey, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Um, like Mr. Williams says, my name is Sherry Mahler. I teach talented music here in St. Charles Parish Public Schools. Um, the Talented Music Program is a pull-out program where um, the students that are in talented music, you guys are going to set up your stands over here. The students that are in talented music um, have a class once a week that I pull them from their band class or whatever other elective they have um, to work on either planned performances like this or something that they're just very interested in. Um, so the two performances you'll see here tonight, uh, the first one is going to be our upper woodwinds, uh, our high woodwinds playing uh, Bing Crosby classic Meli Kaliki Maka, and then James Domain will play a marimba solo, so this is kind of what I was saying, this is a planned performance as well as something that James w learned on his own time, just something that he was really interested in learning. Um, so without further ado, here is some of the Destrian High School talented music students performing Malay Kalikula, excuse me, Malay Kalikimaka. So while James gets his marimba up here, um, I just wanted to let you let you uh, in on what James is about to play. So he's about to play something from the percussion standard repertoire, and that just means that in uh, marimba and percussion world, there are a, a, a certain number of pieces that every percussionist will. Every, especially every professional percussionist, will learn as they progress through their schooling. Um, and so this is, uh, every, every instrument on, the band, on here on the stage has a list of standard repertoire. And so um, this is sort of like the first big challenge, I'd say, for uh, James um, learning on marimba. So without further ado, here is Yellow After the Rain by Mitchell Peters, performed by James Domain. Thank you. 
How about that? That was awesome, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to continue the program. Okay, they said they're ready. I just want to make sure that their faces hadn't cooled off. So I know it's so cold in here. So, um, All right, so our next song we have is a funky rendition of Tchaikovsky's Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies from his ballet, The Nutcracker. You will hear the traditional styles of Tchaikovsky woven into and with the fresh and popular styles of today's presented by Mannheim Steamroller, who is known for blending all of their classical music elements with, new, with the new age of rock. So I hope you enjoy this arrangement of fairies. Thank you all so much. So the, the genesis of the next two songs and our final two tonight were actually during blistering hot summers in the 1940s. That's whenever they were created. Um, the next one you can hear, the Christmas song, or as we better know it, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire, was written in July of 1945 during a blistering hot summer as an effort to stay cool by thinking cool. So think about that whenever it's summertime here, okay? Uh, it went through four different recordings since its writing and the most commonly heard version today is the one is the last recording, the one from 1961. I'm choosing to celebrate the song tonight because it's nostalgic for me. Uh, this is the same exact version that I played in high school, wherever I was. Um, I made a few changes because there was things about it that just didn't sound like the level of what these guys sound. And I was like, yeah, we're gonna make some changes here. But uh, a couple interesting and neat facts, and I learned this earlier this week. Uh, this song, the 1961 recording, was selected in 2022 by the Library of Congress for preservation in the U.S. National Recording Registry as being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. And also, as per the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 chart dated from January 7th of this year, uh, it also claimed the record 
as the song with the longest journey to the top 10, taking it almost 62 years and 26 days. So that's quite a feat, um, knowing that we hear the song every day, but knowing that we haven't like understood what the history of it was too. So I just feel like those little things are important. So please enjoy the Christmas song. So as our concert is coming to a close, I want to take a little bit of time to recognize a few more people who make my job, my life a lot easier, so I can focus on the students and the music a whole lot more. So would John Reinogold, Jane Chauvin, Rhonda Sproles, and Kelly Barrios stand, please, and wave, make yourself known. This is our band booster executive board. I want to thank you all so much for helping me run the program more smoothly, or uh, uh, as well as making this a pleasant, enjoyable, and fun experience for us and the students um, and as their parents. I also want to take a little time for the same people who uh, helped with ushering and bag checks tonight. That was a phenomenal thing to help keep this event fun and safe. So uh, thank you all for your compliance with that. Um, and do know that at any point in time that if there's a, an event future, um, we do have those uh, protocols in place. Next, I want to take some time to thank Ms. Sherry Mahler and Mr. Michael Townsend, uh, the, our talented music teachers. Yes, thank you.
They, want, they do a wonderful job of supplementing and doing extra for our students' um, musical experiences. Um, they also make our incredible students better musicians overall. Um, and also, I would not be able to do anything in what I do without uh, my middle school feeders, Ms. Jessica Farney and Mr. Stephen Tumblin. Um, so yes, thank you all. It takes a lot of work to make an ensemble sound this good, and I guarantee you a lot of the Lord's work happens before they get to me. So uh, I have everything to owe to them, so that way I can just continue to polish the trophy that they are. So I um, also want to give a shout out to Mr. Tumblin for all the help that he has given to the ensemble uh, in, in addition to his responsibilities at Albert Kamen, he's been of a fantastic help. The last, pe uh, last group of people I want to thank is you, all right? You, the parents, the guardians, the siblings, the grandparents, all of you, you're here to support these wonderful musicians. You're here to, to show them the support that they need in order to feel good about what it is they're doing. I can't talk enough about this. I could go on for hours, but it is incredibly important that we're here to support them and their musical journey, um, especially if we want to continue to have music for ourselves. So uh, don't consider it that it's one of those things of it, that it's, it's a, a privilege, but it is a duty for us. So let's keep music alive, right? Yeah. So as we always like to close our Christmas concert, we're going to finish with Sleigh Ride. Again, another one of those written in the blazing heat of the summer. Um, this one was in 19, I want to say 46. My history is starting to uh, escape me now, but um, please enjoy Leroy Anderson's Sleigh Ride.
just want to say thank you all so much for joining us this afternoon. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Y'all be safe going home.